Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide numbers that are written in scientific notation. When you consider that numbers in scientific notation are either really huge numbers or very small numbers, you might think this might be a challenging task. But if you know what you're doing, know a few tricks, this can really be quite easy, and you can divide and multiply huge numbers without even using a calculator. Before I show you how to do it, let me show you just a little bit about how scientific notation works. Like I mentioned, it's our way of writing numbers that are either really big or really small. It's a shortcut way. So I can write this number, 3 trillion, 900 billion. I can write it simply as 3.9 times 10 to the 12th power. And the reason I can do that is because whenever you're multiplying by a power of 10, like 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000, Hopefully you probably already know that doesn't actually change any of the digits. The 3 and the 9 are still there. It just moves the location of the decimal point. So when I multiply by 10 to the 12th power, I'm just moving the decimal 12 places over. So this becomes 3.9 times 10 to the 12th. Same thing down here, this really small number. I still have the 3 and the 9 there, but I'm moving the decimal point 12 places in the opposite direction and it's 10 to the negative 12th power. The negative exponent is for small numbers, the positive exponent is for large numbers. And one rule that will come back later, one rule about scientific notation, is this number here must always be between 1 and 10. So it's always got to be between 1 and 10. And if you end up with a number that's not between 1 and 10, you have to make a few adjustments, which I'll show you in a couple of examples. So let's go back to showing you how to actually do this. So here's a number, here are a couple of multiplication problems in scientific notation. This is 2 times 10 to the 5th times 4 times 10 to the 3rd. But really, this is just four multiplication problems. 2 times 10 to the 5th times 4 times 10 to the 3rd. When you're multiplying, you can multiply in any order that you want. And so we can rearrange it to make it more convenient. First, I could just do the 2 times 4. And then I can do the powers of 10. I can do this 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 3rd. So when I do that, 2 times 4 is easy enough. That's just simply 8. So this is going to be 8 times. And now, how do you multiply these powers of 10? If you know your rules of exponents, and I have other videos about those, when you're multiplying numbers with exponents, and if the bases are the same, you can just simply add the exponents. So this 5 plus 3 is 8, so this is going to be 10 to the 8th power. And that's it. It's 2 times 4 is 8, 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 3rd is 10 to the 8th. If we try it again on another one, Let's just multiply the plain old numbers. 3.5 times 2.8 is going to be 9.8 times. Now let's do the powers of 10. 10 to the 6th times 10 to the negative 4th. So what's 6 plus negative 4? 6 plus negative 4 is 2. So this is going to be 10 to the 2nd power no calculator needed. We're multiplying a really huge number times a really tiny number, no calculator needed. Last one, let's do it the same way. Let's do 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24 times, now let's do the powers of 10. 10 to the negative third times 10 to the ninth power. Let's add the exponents, negative 3 plus 9 is 6. So this is 10 to the 6th power. But wait a second. There's a slight problem here. This is the correct value, but it's not currently written in proper scientific notation. Remember a minute ago I said that number right there needs to be between 1 and 10. So, we have to make a few adjustments here. If the decimal point is here and I want it to be between 1 and 10, I have to move that decimal place over, I have to make this number one decimal place smaller. So I'm going to have 2.4. But if I want the overall value to remain unchanged, I can't just start moving decimal points around. So if I make this one decimal place smaller, I have to make this one one decimal place 
bigger. So this becomes one place bigger than 10 to the 6th is 10 to the 7th. So the final answer is 2.4 times 10 to the 7th. And if you're a little confused about how I got that, think about it like this. Let's say we're multiplying two numbers, 30 times 100, which is equal to 3,000. Same thing like up here. I'm multiplying these two numbers together. I'm multiplying these two numbers together. If I want to make this one decimal place smaller, so that would now become 3, I'm multiplying it by something, and I want the answer to stay the same. If it's still going to remain 3,000, I can't multiply by 3 by 100 anymore and keep the same answer. I need to bump this 100 up to 1,000. So if I make this one decimal place smaller, I have to make this one decimal place bigger to keep that answer the same. So that's basically what I'm doing here to try to make sure this number stays between 1 and 10. How about dividing? Dividing, same thing, just about. When you're dividing, I have a power of 10 divided by, I'm sorry, a number in scientific notation divided by another number in scientific notation. Let's just break it up into two, oops, two separate problems. Let's do 9 divided by 3 and 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 6th. 9 divided by 3 is 3 times, what is this? Here's the quotient rule for exponents. When you're dividing numbers, if the bases are the same, you can just simply subtract the exponents. So this is going to be 10 to the 8 minus 6 is 2. Done. Huge numbers, uh, and I can divide them no problem without a calculator. Another example, here if there are decimals to make it a little more complicated, it's still okay. Let's just divide the number part, then we'll divide the powers of 10. 4.5 divided by 1.8 is 2.5. Now when we divide the powers of 10, we subtract the exponents. Negative 5 minus 2 is 10 to the negative 7th power. Done. Last one. Divide the numbers. Divide the powers of 10. When you do 3.7 divided by 8.4, you get 0 0.44 approximately. When you divide these powers of 10, remember, you're subtracting the exponents now. So 9 minus 4 is 5. That is 10 to the fifth power. But wait, we're not done. This is the right value, but it's not proper scientific notation because this number is not between 1 and 10. So I need to make an adjustment on this one, just like I did on the last one when we were multiplying. This is too small. I need to make this one decimal place bigger. If I do, I've got 4.4 now instead of 0.44, so now this is between 1 and 10. But again, I can't just go changing decimal places without altering the answer unless I also change this one. If I make this one decimal place bigger, I have to make this one decimal place smaller. So this becomes 10 to the fourth power. Now the overall value remains unchanged, but it is now written in proper scientific notation. That has to be between 1 and 10. So I hope that makes sense. Good luck.